Mercedes Benz and CNBC TV 18 present Young Turks on the Road. Welcome back to our special Young Turks on the Road series in partnership with Mercedes Benz. Now, our Young Tech mentor, Samrat Bedi of Forest Essentials, is mentoring two startup founders on building and scaling up a luxurious Make in India brand. The next startup on the show is T Box, founded by Koshal Dugar. Let's take a look at his story. Coming from a tea family, growing amidst the tea plantations, I grew up drinking some of the best teas in my life. But when I was traveling overseas, I realized that the kind of teas people were used to was pretty bad in terms of quality. The tea box startup is nothing else but my personal endeavor to ensure that every cup of tea which is consumed in India and around the world is as fresh as it should be. Uh, over the last four years, Tea Box has delivered about 35 million cups of tea to consumers in 95 countries. And very interestingly, we are probably the only startup in India where two customers have become our investors. In the last 200 years of India producing teas, not a single brand has come from India on a global scale. And we really think using technology, using modern innovation, our vision is really to make Tea Box India's first global brand of tea. All right, Tamra, we've reached your house. This is where we're going to meet Kaushal from Tea Box. Are you ready for your second chat? Absolutely. Let's go. Uh, when you started Forest Essential or whenever this brand was conceptualized, how did you guys go about building that market? Because essentially this space at that point of time might have been a small space, luxury Ayurveda. And that's a challenge we are also facing in our brand building process. Well, when we actually started, I think it was in 2001, <coughs> this uh, segment of the market did not exist. Oh. It was actually either mass Indian brands mm -hmm or they were luxury imported brands. Okay. So the idea was to actually create a luxury Indian brand. And um, when we first started actually um, selling, we were selling at price points that actually did not exist in the market. Okay. I think the most important thing is to be very clear in where you want to position the brand. And I think everything actually boils down to the brand. Building a luxury brand, building a prestige brand takes a lot of time and effort, sure. especially in a market where you know there is no channel distribution for. Be extremely patient and actually understand that this is a long-term proposition. What are those few things you would consider which, you know, which Forest Essential really makes sure that they don't waver from? For us, I think quality is paramount. We're very clear that, that we will never compromise on quality. The second thing we're very clear is we're an Indian brand. So that's something that we think is an angle that we use every single time we market the product. And I think the third thing is that it's actually... Ayurveda. So I think even for you when you mentioned the freshness of the tea, I think if that's a core principle, then I think that's something that needs to be focused on. It needs to come out in all your marketing and your PR. It needs to come out as who you are as a brand and that's a space that you need to own then. So talking about freshness, you know, ours is perhaps the only brand which delivers the freshest seeds direct from plantations to consumers. But how do we really get those message across to consumers? As a small upcoming brand, how do you compete with those biggies out there? Marketing is basically education. You're actually educating the customer on why your product might be better than the other product or what is so different about your product from a competitor's. And you take freshness for example. I mean freshness is a fantastic topic. I mean, for me, if I know that the tea is coming to me absolutely fresh and it's exactly like from the plantation to me in 48 hours, I think that's a very strong message by itself. My main advice is that you keep it focused. Like, we are very, very clear on our principles. You just have to find clever and smart ways of actually getting it out there. And is there, you know, in your brand, uh, brand growth or brand journey, are there small little things which, uh, you know, such as one of the things I noticed in Forest Essential products, the packaging is fantastic. For us, the devil is in the details. I mean, literally everything is about details. You'd be surprised at how many details a consumer looks at today. Just when you think that a line is line, it's not. I mean, it's literally the thickness of the line, where you're going to put that line, how you're going to use it. And I mean, a consumer notices every single thing. Even the Indian consumers would do that? The Indian consumers are extremely mature, extremely well-traveled. They're getting tastes of Japan, they're getting tastes of Southeast Asia, they're getting tastes where people are very much into detailing. So they, they actually absorb all of that and they come back and they appreciate what you're doing here because they know how much trouble you must have taken to actually go into those details. It's a very time-consuming process, yes. but you know what? It's actually what builds your brand and actually is the crux of what you do. 
you know, Forest Essentials, um, I'm assuming when you started, you started with a retail presence. Uh, T-Box on the other side is a completely online uh, online brand. At some point, I think it's imperative for us to get into the offline channels as well. So how do we, in your you know, experience, how do you think we should transition from that online to omni-channel sort of experience? If you're looking at India as a market, I think for us to have omni-channel is a long term away. Given everything that we have in infrastructure, bandwidth, internet today, it's still a long way away. But having said that, I think that it will merge. And when I actually went through your profile and, and the company's profile, the one thing that struck me was tea is a commodity. Tea is something that needs to be experienced. It needs to be smelt. It needs to be touched. It needs to be drunk. It needs to every you know you have to see it. So all of that stuff is not on the internet today. Now building a brick and mortar situation in today's market is very very difficult, very very expensive. And if you have your own dedicated outlets, they have to actually make money. You have two ways of looking at it. Either you go down that path and have a flagship experience center, or you have events, touch and feel events where you can own the event. Like I've like I've mentioned to you, have a tea festival, have a, right. have something that you can actually call a tea box event that everybody knows that this is an event that you're going to do. I never thought about tea box events. Uh, you know, it's something we should own. Like you know, and I I can only imagine how beautiful a place such as in the hills of Darjeeling, beautiful tea gardens where yeah. we can get... It's like a Jaipur literary fest. Exactly. Why can't you have a tea fest in Darjeeling Absolutely. and actually have people come and, you know, actually have content on tea, have tea tastings, have things around tea, tea spa rituals. You could do so much with it and just actually build a property that would be tea driven. Also, one more thing which you had added earlier, it's all about storytelling. How authentic does a story need to be? Because I'm assuming consumers these days are very smart. They can, very really, smart. They, they can really gauge a fake story versus a real story. Absolutely. But when you compete against the big brands, you know, the kind of stories they say, the kind of things they do, you know, you really feel like, you know, what are you lacking or how do you even think about competing against those guys? I think what's, what's very key is first, don't get daunted by a big boy. The idea is that they use brand ambassadors, that they use, you know, various, a lot of them might not have stories. They have to right. create stories, right. right? And the point is, if you do have a story, stay true to your roots. Talk about your childhood. Talk about the gardens that you've grown up. Talk about, bring everything out because today, like you said, the consumer is very smart. And I think if you do actually have a story, I think it's the most important thing to bring out there. And that is really what's going to make your brand. What is that one piece of advice you would give us as a fledgling brand? I think the one key word and what we've learned over the last 15 years is patience. You I wish I can tell that to my investors. <laughs> it's, it's easy to grow volumes. It's easy, but if you want a long long-lasting impact and you actually want to have a brand then you have to be patient you have to build it correctly build it on the fundamentals and make sure it does not get diluted in any way the moment you start diluting a brand then the volumes don't matter I think the main takeaway from this is he seems to have his funding in place he seems to have a great idea on how he wants to run the tech part of business I think what he needs to focus on is actually building a brand and I think the brand is all about the intangibles, everything that is actually goes around the brand, the experience, the way you're actually going to sell your product and the way that people are going to actually experience the product, I think is going to be very key. And I think that's something that he really needs to concentrate on. Keep your message authentic. Think about your brand and positioning before you think about fundraising and volumes. And the devil is always in the detail. Samra, thanks very much for sharing those very important insights with our startup community. With that, it is time for us to wrap up this edition of the Young Turks on the road. But next week, India's most respected and influential hospitality man, A.D. Singh of Olive Bar and Kitchen, in conversation with the founders of Aromas of Cool and Wow Table. So keep watching our Facebook page and our Twitter feed for all the action. Till next week, from all of us on the team, goodbye and thanks for watching. Mercedes-Benz and CNBC TV 18 present Young Turks on the Road.